five interview questions to have on lock. So in this video, I'm going to cover five extremely common interview questions that you want to be ready for. You're locked in. You're ready to go with any degree of apprenticeship interview. These are very common. So there's a very high chance that they ask these questions. Before we do that, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Owen. I'm a degree apprentice and I help people get degree apprenticeships in the engineering, technology and finance industries. Here are some of the people I helped last year get into degree apprenticeships with companies like Amazon, HSBC, JLR, KPMG, just to name a few. Okay. So let's get into this. Five interview questions to have on lock. Okay. First one, why did you apply for this role? By the way, when I'm going through these five questions, I'll start off with a slide like this, which is sort of doing the question. And then I'll go into like how you want to answer it. So something you can actually do if you want to sort of practice your interview answers is when I go on to each new question, just pause the video for a second and give a practice answer. Okay. And just see what would you say right now? So picture a company in mind you want to sort of do this practice for maybe, Oh, I want to practice Amazon. I want to practice JLR. I want to practice Deutsche Bank, right? Have that in mind. And then when I go to each question, pause the video, give a full answer, see how good you do. And you can sort of listen to my sort of analysis of how best to answer. And then that will help you improve with these questions and help you just get these completely unlocked for your interviews. Okay. So pause this video now and answer this question. Okay, cool. Right. Let's get into this. So why did you apply for this role? A lot of people answer this question incompletely. Is that the right word? Basically, there's three things you want to mention. A lot of people only mention one thing. So what did you mention when you just answered this question? Okay. Did you mention specifically the company? Oh, I want to work for, for this company in this role because the, 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 right. Or did you mention the subject? Oh, I applied for this role because I'm really interested in software engineering. Okay. Or did you mention about degree apprenticeships? I really applied for this role because I really want to do a degree apprenticeship and I want to like learn while I'm and earn while I learn or whatever the phrase is, right? You might've mentioned one of those. You might've mentioned two. You want to actually mention all three of those different things. So for this question, why did you apply for this role? I recommend the three, three pronged approach. Okay. A lot of people, they get this and they might ask just, they might answer just about one of these things. Okay. So for example, say you're applying for a software engineering degree apprenticeship at JP Morgan for this question, I would respond with these basically like three sort of subsections. Number one, why the subject? So I start talking about why I specifically wanted software engineering. Why do you want to get into that field? What interests you about software engineering? Okay. What research have you done about software engineering? Okay. Then after that, once I'd like, um, justified that I'm interested in software engineering, I'd then go to why the company. Okay. Why specifically that company? Why JP Morgan? What do you know about the company? Why do you want it there as opposed to at some other company? Then once I'd done that, I'd then go on to a third thing. Why a degree apprenticeship? Okay. As opposed to university, the normal route. Okay. And that's sort of what I do with the three pronged approach there. It means you're going to cover all the different things there. A lot of people, they might cover one, they might cover two, but if you cover three, it means you've got a comprehensive answer and it means they're going to be extremely satisfied that you are motivated for this role. And this is the right role for you because you've explained all three different like sort of variables that occur within a job like this. Okay. So that's basically the way you run out to a three pronged approach. What do you know about our company? Okay. This is a very common one. They want to employ people who know about the company who have been dedicated, they're proactive. They've gone and done research. They don't want somebody who's just randomly like Googled list of finance degree apprenticeships applied to every single one, just hoping they get one because they really want a degree apprenticeship. Okay. Even if that is true for you, like you genuinely don't care about the company. You just want a degree apprenticeship. You have to pretend like you want the company. Okay. So that's why this question is important. What do you know about a company? If you haven't already pause this video and go and do your practice answer now. Cool. So these are the kind of things you want to include in the, what do you know about our company? Okay. And this is all going to be done from research. Okay. So you need to make sure you're researching this in advance. So when I was doing these interviews, I would always do this research one to two hours before my interview. Okay. So I, this is the specific things I'd research some overall things about the company. Okay. Like, I know you're the largest investment bank, uh, banking firm in the world. Um, and you received with over 30,000 employees worldwide. Okay. That's how I'd sort of start off this question. So say something overall about the company and include a nice little statistic there. Okay. Shows, you know, what's going on with this company. Another thing you mentioned is the mission or goals of the company. I know your goal is to be the, the world's biggest luxury car company. Okay, and I really respect this because I strive for the highest standards in everything I do. When I was working on my coursework for this project, I wanted to do the best I could possibly do. And when I got my results back, I'd actually done the best in my year, my year group, which aligns with your goal of trying to be the best. Okay, something like that. Align with their missions and goals, whether that's they want to be the best company, the biggest company, right? Their values. So companies have these values. It's sort of these um, little cute things like, 
collaboration and integrity and unity and excellence, right? You want to show how you've researched this company. So I know that you have the values of operational excellence and exceptional client service. This really interests me because these are actually the values I've embodied in the past. So when I was working in Tesco's as a shop assistant, I would always make sure I gave the customer the best experience possible. I had to deal with difficult customers, um, rude customers, but I'd always deal with it professionally and ensure they received the best experience because what's more important is the customer getting a good experience, like something like that. Okay, you could say something like that, show how you align with those values because they don't want an employee who doesn't align with the values. Say their values are collaboration. They don't want an employee who can't collaborate and wants to work independently all the time. Okay, say their values are safety. They don't want someone who's like not, who doesn't care about safety and is going to take loads of risks and put everyone in danger. They want an employee who aligns with those values. So show where you've done research of those values and then give an example. Okay. Another one is recent projects or innovations. I recently read about how you're working on this project on the London Eye to like upgrade it using some sort of material. This really interested me because when I went to the London Eye myself, I learned about how when they initially constructed it, they used like reinforced polymers made out of plastic. And I now see how you're using innovations to improve the durability of that machine. Yeah, I've literally made that up on the spot, as you can tell. Like, I'm talking rubbish, but a London Eye made out of plastic. You know what I mean? But that's the kind of thing you'd say. Go and look on their website, okay? Um, they might have a tab called, like, news, media, press releases, projects, innovations, products, services, something like that. Go and look at what they've been doing recently. If there's anything which catches your eye, go and mention that, okay? And there's a bonus thing you can do as well. A lot of these companies, they like their buzzwords, sustainability, diversity, that sort of thing. So if you just say something about them, it's just a, it's just a big tick box, really. That, that's all it is. It doesn't actually mean anything. So just say something like, oh, I read about how you have a commitment to be net zero by 2039. This really interested me because I care about protecting the environment. So as an employee, I'd really be thinking on the day to day how we can improve sustainability and I'd help you meet your goal. Cool. You've ticked off sustainability. That's all nice and uh, cute for us there. OK, so those are the kind of things I would include in this answer. What do you know about a company? This is very comprehensive. Some people might only answer one of these. They might only answer two of these. It's the same as the previous question. If you mention all of these, you've got a very comprehensive answer. Okay. And in terms of doing this research, as I said, you want to do it before you do the interview. Obviously, like you can't just do it in like two seconds during the interview. But it would depend when you want to do it. So me personally, I would sort of do this detailed research one to two hours before my interview. I'd sit down, go on their websites, make a bunch of notes, and then I'm ready. Okay. That may or may not work for you. Okay. I've got a pretty decent memory. It works for me, so I can write it down, and then two hours later, I can remember the exact things I wanted to say, sort of like list for list, photographically or whatever. If you're like, if you can't do that, like your memory's not like that, then just do it a couple of days before, do it weeks before. Okay, it's 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 all on you. Like how how good is your memory? If you can remember an answer like this in like ten minutes, then it's fine. Do it in the morning. Okay. If this is something you need to practice over a couple of weeks, then make sure you're doing this research a couple of weeks out, make some notes of it, keep referring back to it, practice your answers, all this sort of thing, until you can give like a full answer where you can just basically from memory, just be like, so I know about your company is this, you have this mission, you have this value, these are some projects I did. And I also, um, I read about your like diversity statement. And uh, this really excited me because I want to work in diverse teams. And I think it's important to do that. Something like that. Okay, so that's how I would answer that question there. Very common question. Let's move on to the next one. What are your strengths? Okay, so pause the video right now and give it a go. Cool. So, here's how I'd answer this question. Three to five strengths, and you're going to tailor them to the job description. Okay, so this is looks like a sample job description here. You want to t say that your strengths are the ones they have specifically mentioned. So look at this job description here. They've mentioned communication skills, IT skills, like teamwork, and all this sort of thing. If I was applying to this one, I'd look at that job description, the strengths I'd specifically mention, I'd do communication, IT skills, teamwork, and problem solving skills, okay? All ones which are mentioned here. I'd just choose the ones which I thought were most relevant. Okay, perfect, boom. Okay, because it's now showing my strengths align with the job description, I'm a good candidate for you. What you wouldn't do is just randomly come up with some like random strength that's not even on here, okay? Oh, like one of my strengths is working independently. Well, in the requirements, it doesn't say anything about working independently. You've just wasted your time there. Because maybe, may sure, yeah, one of your strengths is working independently. But it's like, that's not relevant to the job description. It's like, one of my strengths is swimming quickly. I'm not going to say, one of my strengths, oh, I can swim fast. Right? I'm going to talk about what's specifically in the job description. So literally, these sort of questions, I would, ne I would literally never even like differentiate from the job description in terms of skills. It's like, just, just mention every single one there. 
not I'm sorry, not every single one there. Just make sure everyone every single one you mention is there. Okay, there's a difference between that. Because I'm not saying go and mention twelve different things. You don't have time in the answer. Okay, but what I am saying is the three to five that you do have time to answer in like a sort of two minute or three minute answer, make sure they're coming from the job description. So when you're doing this, when you want to do this, you want to sort of name the strength. So one of my strengths I'd say is communication. And then you want to give an example. Okay? So one of my strengths is communication. Um when I was on my Duke of Edinburgh, I had to, my residential, I had to work with a lot of people I never met before. When we do some of the group activities, a lot of the people in our group were sort of shy. They hadn't introduced each other. They didn't want to talk. So what I did is I sort of stepped up, introduced myself and got, got us talking. Um, and this is actually one of my strengths, really, those interpersonal skills and communication. I'm very confident talking to people I've never met before. And this is going to be really useful when working in your workplace because it means I'm going to be able to form these relationships with clients, with people within my team, and also people from other departments within the business. Okay, so that's actually an extra thing I could add there. Uh, let me add that in now, actually, if if it wants to let me. Okay, give an example. Okay, so you want to name the strength, communication, or attention to detail, time management. Give an example of where you've done it, just to show there's evidence. Because, like, bro, anyone in an interview can say I have customer service skills, but then it's like. Tell me about the time you showed customer service skills so there's evidence of it, okay? And then, final thing, just make it relevant to the job. So, I have customer service skills. I can tell you about this time when I was working at Tesco's and I had really good customer service skills. Um, overall, this would be really useful to your company because I know that one of your values is exceptional client service. So, I'd be able to employ these skills to ensure that I delivered world-class service to these clients so they were happy with our work. Okay, you've made it relevant. Because it's basically like, why do they care about you having a strength? Okay, they care because it's relevant to the job. It's going to make the company money. It's going to make you a better employee. That is how I'd answer that question. The job description is super key there. Okay, and by the way, just a quick plug. If you do want any mock interviews with me, I do do them on my coaching program. So that's where I can give you sort of one-to-one -one feedback on your answers as well, analyze your answers to help you in your real interviews. So if you want that, go click the link in the description. All right, let's move on to the next question. So pause the video here. Why do you want to do a degree apprenticeship over going to university normally? Okay, so this question, I remember the first time I got asked this question in an interview, it caught me completely off guard. Okay, I was not expecting it. So I was expecting these things like, what do you know about the company, what your strengths, what your weaknesses, all, all this rubbish, right, and all, all the sort of common questions they can ask you. This one completely caught me off guard, which is why I wanted to mention this one. Because it's like a, it's a sort of question that's not necessarily relevant to them, so I wasn't asking them to ask it, but some companies, they just ask it anyway. Okay. So you just want to be ready to give an answer, really, because here's the thing. What, like, let, let's just let's just be real for honest for, for a second. Let's just be completely honest. Let's be real, okay? A lot of us we want to do a degree apprenticeship because it's like don't want to get into debt and free degree and a salary, right? It's like yeah, we can say these cute things about oh, I I want to like I I'm better at learning while doing or um I want this work experience. It's like okay, fair enough, but it's like in mostly it's the free degree and the salary. Let's just like be let's just be completely at buck like buck with each other right now okay it's the it's the salary it's the pay so that's when when this question got asked i was thinking about this i was like i can't say that because that's just dodgy right so i had to come up with something that i was going to say that sounded good okay and so this was a bit dodgy because i had to come up with this answer in like two seconds so it just meant for my next interviews in future i was sort of ready for this answer i'm ready for this question sorry and i have my answer prepared Okay, so th this is just something to go through now. Obviously, you did this practice, you paused the video, so maybe you gave a good answer, maybe you gave a bad answer, but just be ready to give an answer so you don't get like sort of stumped by it, which is, which is what happened to me the first time we got asked, okay? And as I said, you want to, I would say, aim for something which is wholesome over than saying just money, because of course, like, just money is probably one of the biggest ones, okay, if we're keeping it a buck fifty, right? So something wholesome is like, I prefer learning by doing something practically. Or I want to challenge myself rather than just doing a degree on its own. I want to do a degree and work at the same time. I know that it's going to be a challenge in terms of um, time management and having a lot of pressure. But this is something I deal well with. Okay, and that's nice and wholesome. You want to challenge. You want to do all this, right? I want to make a real world impact. So rather than just learning things theoretically, I want to apply my knowledge in the real world to work on real projects such as I've seen at your company so that I can help the planet be more sustainable or whatever. Okay, these are all like nice wholesome reasons. 
that I would say, in my opinion, is probably better than just saying, oh yeah, I kind of didn't want the debt, to be honest. And I saw you I saw you had like a 30k salary, so I was like, why not? To be fair, I don't even care about your company, to be honest. By the way, I'm leaving your company in like three years' time once this degree apprenticeship is over. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to say that. So it's like, fair enough, if you want to give like a, if you want to mention at the end, like, oh, and also the free degree and salary, like, fair enough. Because it's like, yes, it's a tricky one because it's like, they know we're doing it a lot of us are just doing it for the money is one of the main reasons but they also don't want you to admit that so it's like sure mention it at the end just be like oh and also i just think it, it's a really good package as well because um you get this salary you get this free degree so i think it's really good fair enough mention that at the end that's fine but all i'm saying is don't mention that as the only thing okay if you want to mention it fair enough in, in my answers i didn't even mention it if you want to mention it fine but make sure you have that wholesome reason there oh i want to make an impact i want to learn theoretically i want to challenge myself okay and that's what I recommend. Just be ready for that question. And wholesome is probably wholesome is the vibe I would recommend on this one. Okay, I forgot to do the thing here, so let me do it. Tell me about a time when you worked really hard on something. Pause the video now. Okay. So the way you want to answer this question, it's called a star question. You want to do it as situation, task, action, result. Okay, so you talk about the situation that you were working really hard on something. What was the task? What did you have to do? And then talk about the actions you specifically took. Okay, and this is where you're going to show you're really hard working. So I worked on this thing for like eight hours straight, right? Or I went into really detailed research so I could do this work to the highest quality possible. Okay, just talk about these actions you did that show you're a really good employee. And then finally, the result. And this is super important because it just shows what was the outcome. Because you want to show that it was a good result because then it shows that your actions worked. So I worked really hard on this presentation and in the end it got voted best presentation of the class or I got an A star grade on it or our, or our group won the class project or we successfully completed our DOV expedition. Okay, make sure you have that situation, task, action, result on lock. You want to answer it like that. And these are actually sort of a more common type of questions, a more general type of question called star questions. Okay, and there's lots of these and they start with like, tell me about a time or describe me a time, something like that describe a, a situation when and, and the, these questions where they're asking for examples from your like from your life essentially tell me about a time when you've worked as a team tell me about a time when you showed integrity tell me about a time when you learned from a mistake tell me about a time when you had to be a leader tell me about a time when you had to have a difficult conversation there's loads and loads of questions like these okay so if you want to learn more about these questions then you can come and click this video on the left and if you want to join my coaching program go and click that one in the right that's the end of the video i hope you found it useful go and check out those two links there and i'll see you in a bit peace out